Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So today what I'd like to discuss is this little piece of news from European Parliament on replaceable batteries or the requirement that items have replaceable batteries. I want to talk about it a little bit and go from there. So this here says there are new rules on batteries. MEPs want more environmental and social ambition. Batteries to be more sustainable, easier to replace, including on smartphones. Due diligence standards across the entire value chain. What I found interesting here was batteries for light means of transport, such as electric scooters and bikes, and the ability that uh, consumers and independent operators can easily and safely remove them and replace them. Now, I already know on a smartphone that it is a royal pain in the ass to replace a battery. This here is a Samsung S10e, and I just recently replaced my battery because I have no need to get a new phone. This is more than enough for me, and I love that it has a micro SD card slot, it fits in my hand. It has a headphone jack so I could plug my little Rode shotgun microphone into it when I'm on the go. So I got a, another battery, uh, and it is kind of a pain in the ass to replace the battery on here. Uh, half of it is finding a battery because on Samsung's own parts website, they are out of stock of batteries for this and have been for about three months. So I got one of these, but admittedly this thing kind of sucks. It, it, once the phone hits 16%, it just dies. Um, but the other thing that's difficult about it is having to pry the back off of this phone, not crack it, re-adhese it, make it look nice and all that. When, again, back in the day with my S5, which was also liquid, a nice liquid-resistant phone, to replace the battery, I literally went boop and put a new one in. So it's just interesting to see them address this, but more interesting to me, because I didn't even know about this, is when they said light means of transport. Because I just assumed that on a bike or an electric scooter, that the battery was gonna be replaceable. Because again, all my electric bikes have been electric bikes that I build myself. I buy the bike, I have somebody put together the bike, and then I electrify it. And the idea of the battery not being replaceable on an electric vehicle, that's insane. Because again, the battery on this phone, it's a pain in the ass to get to it, but we're talking about a battery that is, you know, like 10 bucks on a device that goes for about $300. But some of these electric bikes and scooters, they go up to again, 500, uh, $5,000, $6,000, $7,000. The idea that when the battery dies on a $5,000 bike that it's trash is insane to me. And I didn't even really know about this until very, very recently. So my friend Sonny has an electric bike that he did not put together himself because he does not want to go on fire. And one of the interesting things I found about that bicycle is the battery for that bicycle is actually built into the frame. So when the battery dies, um, on my electric bicycle, what I do is I unstrap it from the frame, I strap a new one in, and I plug it in. On his bike, when his battery dies, um, you buy a new bike. Yeah, the battery is inside of the frame. So when something happens to that battery, you're buying a new bicycle. And I think that that's really kind of crazy. Now, when it came to devices like uh, smartphones and everything, I've said that while I have a preference for user replaceable batteries that are easy to replace. That's my personal preference. I never really wanted to enshrine how you design the device in law because my idea of a personal nightmare is listening to Ted Cruz, Mitch McConnell, Nancy Pelosi, AOC, and, and whoever, Chuck Schumer, argue over how a modern piece of technology should be designed. I think that that would result in absolute horrible gridlock. You can come up with a general set of philosophical principles, meaning however it is you put this together, however it is you design it, make stuff available to us. That's really, really easy and basic to legislate and really, really easy and basic to follow versus actually asking our idiot politicians to put together a list of how to design modern technology. That just, again, that just kind of scared me. Even though it is my preference that I be able to buy a phone where I do this and I can just pop in a, a different battery, I, I was always kind of wary of going that far with legislation. When it comes to legislation, I really do look for the bare minimum necessary to get freedom for people. But when it comes to a, something like an electric vehicle, a scooter or a bike, there I kind of tend to, um, I find, I think it's kind of disgusting to, that, that, that it's slowly kind of creeping in that you can actually spend 5000 or 6000 or $7,000 on a piece of transportation that has a battery that has a limited lifespan to the point where that piece of transportation will then become considerably useless for its primary purpose once that is done. And I really don't like the idea of, uh, of that creeping in. So I'm very curious what you all think. Do you think that there should be some form of legislation that makes it so that consumers and independent operators can easily and safely remove batteries? Or do you think that that's something that just should not be getting into legislation at all? It's it's one of those things that is really uh, aggravating. So for, you know, again, I, I have the skill set to replace batteries. Like here, I have a Shure Bluetooth headset. I've been using, I've been a fanboy of these Shure IEMs since around 2004 when I got my set of Shure 
E3C for about 55 bucks with a coupon code back in the day. And, you know, I, I've used their Bluetooth ones now. And my battery used to last really long. And now it, it says eight hours. An hour later, it'll say four hours. An hour later, it'll say battery low. And I don't know where I, I can open this. I know how to open this. Um, I don't know where to get a battery for it. And they were charging 150 bucks for this cable when it came out. This is a this is a Bluetooth cable. That's $150. And they uh and you know, I I cannot buy a battery even if I can open it. And it's a royal pain in the ass when you have more and more and more devices that are being designed that way. And one of the things that I've been particularly surprised at over the past five years, I would have never guessed this, is that there are people who've said, I support right to repair, but I would never support it if it meant them mandating uh, that batteries should be removable. And I've again, I understand if a if a customer of a product says I accept the non removable battery, but it's very very strange when I read comment sections or web forums where I actually see people that are begging for it. Like, please take away my freedom. It's not that I'll put up with it, but please, I need you to take away my freedom. If you don't take away my freedom, I won't even buy your product. That's very strange to me because I remember the days when phones were very sleek, very sexy, had nice backs and everything else, and they also had use removable batteries. Like again, was was the HTC. Um, Sensation 4G really that disgusting for its time? Um, you know, it's it's weird to me when I read comment sections about this where people are, it again, they're not just saying I would accept a device that has a non-removable battery. Please don't allow me to remove my battery. Please make it hard. Please give me an excuse every two years to get another one rather than fix the one that I have. I'm really curious where where you all stand with this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.